So we've just seen the Reserve Bank statement dropping. Um, I don't think anyone was expecting this to be a major vol event, and given the fact that the Aussie dollar overnight implied vol was around 13.5%, which is about 56 percentile of the, of the 12 month range. But we have seen what I think is, is quite a defining moment in, in this policy cycle that we've been seeing. Uh, the statement itself was pretty upbeat. I mean, they're satisfied with the way that things are going post Omicron, you know, household spending's on the way up. Uh, they've talked about you know, inflation on the way up, wages are picking up, but there's still you know, some way to go. Uh, and I think generally speaking, they're, they're pretty happy about the way things are going. They've removed their patience stance from the statement. Now, things are looking, I think you'd say this is a pretty hawkish statement, but they have dampened it a little bit. If you read that last paragraph, they've said inflation has picked up and further increases are expected, but growth in labour costs have been below rates that, have been, that are likely to be consistent with inflation being sustained the above target. So over time, more important information is going to make itself available. So I think the fact that they, you know, they've given some handbrakes to this, but if you look at the way that the markets have acted, they've seen this as a defining moment. We are now looking at the next uh, jobs report that comes out on the 4th of April, but the most specific one that we're looking for is that Q1 CPI number that comes out on the 27th of April. 3.5% is the current inflation rate. We expect that to probably push to 4.2%, which qualify for them now, therefore, to, to open the door to rate hikes perhaps after the election, but I'm not sure whether they're going to become so political there. The next wages data comes out on the 18th of May, and then the Q2 CPI number comes out on the 27th. So I think this next CPI number on the 27th of April is going to be big. But look at the reaction. Three-year treasuries going from 2.33% up to 246 10-year treasuries, 279 up to 284. Real rates going up six basis points. The Aussie dollar across the pairs has just absolutely gone for it today. We've gone Aussie dollar 75.38 into the figure at 76. Really big buying against the euro and some against the Scandi currencies there as well. And we expect that though, some of the rate prices to really come alive when we, when we look at them a bit later on now. But I think this is a defining moment now. The RBA have lost their patience stance. They put us on notice for a rate cycle. And I think it's all eyes around the CPI number that comes out on the 27th of April. So one to watch there.